friends welcome to top education in this session we are doing qabd2 part 2 which is from top education so guys here there are two method in this chapter which is the first chapter correlation and regression analysis so here what happens guys there are many types for doing so we are doing separate separate videos so you will be able to know everything so guys we will know in this video about actual mean method of Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation. So guys here actual mean method. Actual mean method is like this. R is equal to sigma xy divided by sigma x square into sigma y square square root. Okay. Guys in different different types of books we have different different formulas. So guys, I think that you should follow this formulas because this formula is very easy to remember and very quick also. So guys, assume mean method. As you guys done in first, like second sem of BCom or BBA also. So then what happened is mean method. Everyone have done mean method, but here there is a little difference because it is Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation so guys assume mean method that was actual mean method which is normally done assume mean method where you assume like as you are doing uh, in x uh, middle number or first number or last number you are taking down so like here also you will take an assume mean method the formula is sig uh, r xy is equal to sigma dx dy minus sigma dx into sigma dy divided by n which is divided by sigma d square minus sigma d square divided by n square root into sigma dy square minus sigma dy square divided by n square root. So guys formula should be bahatted or should be practiced more time so when the question is asked you should be ready to formulate the formula okay so this is the formula of Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation which is very very important guys it may come for 14 marks or 6 marks so let's begin here see guys a note a problem can be solved either in actual or zoom mean method if nothing is specified in the problem in examination, they say for 6 marks or for 14 marks, they have nothing specified to do actual mean method or assume mean method. Then you can choose which you know. If not, you can do the both also, but the answer you will get is the same. Here, in Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation, these two formulas are there, but the answer you will get the same. Okay, so guys here interpretation of correlation guys after like this see uh, here I have a question after formulating this question you will get an answer so that answer it may it will be like see R is in the formula C R R so you have to write so at last therefore after the formula you have to write see when the R is greater than 1, then you have to write perfect positive correlation between variables. If you don't write this point after your sum, then you lose 1 marks or 2 marks depending upon the valuator. Okay, so you have to write it out. See, R is equal to less than 1. If it is less than 1, then perfect negative correlation or there is a minus sign then you can also say that the perfect negative correlation between vari variables minus negative plus positive easy zero no relationship only i don't keep relationship zero does not keep okay so then r is equal to greater than zero see guys mainly what happened is this three doesn't occur in your answer but this three actually it occurs when it is greater than 0 0.75 like 0 0.99 9.5 and less than 0 0.99 less than 0 0.99 then it is high degree of correlation 
फ्रॉम सेवेंटी फाइव टू नाइनटी नाइन हाई डिग्री ऑफ कोरिलेशन फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी फाइव टू सेवेंटी फाइव मॉडर्न मॉडर्न और मॉडरेटली मीडियम मिडल डन लेस देन जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव लाइक जीरो पॉइंट वन 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 देन यू कैन लो डिग्री ऑफ कोरिलेशन सो यू हैव टू स्पेसिफाई आफ्टर योर सम आई विल शो यू गाइज हाउ यू हैव टू डू दिस ओके सो लेट्स बिगेन विद द सम so guys here we have a small formula or small sum so guys find correlation coefficient for the given value under car pearson's method under car pearson's method and actually guys they have not mentioned you have to do in this method or this method so if your wish you can do in this method also you can do in this method also but guys here i will try this first one for your guys so let's begin with it so guys x we have what here happen is the question is given x is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 y is equal to 4 5 6 7 8 we have written here okay done now guys what you have to do is you have to do total it up so this you will total you will get 15 and the other you will get i think 30 yeah 30 so here what happen is you have to implement a formula like i x bar is equal to sigma x by n is equal to x sigma x n is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 5 so five, divided by 15 okay so the answer will be 3 done and then for next also we'll do y <coughs> sorry guys <coughs> so y bar is equal to sigma y by n so sigma y we have got 30 and number as well as 5 so we will get the answer as 6 yes perfect so 3 and 6 now guys what you will do is 1 minus 3 2 minus 3 3 minus 3 4 minus 3 5 minus 3 is equal to so 1 minus 3 how much that is minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 then and we don't need these answers do so don't did here of course you will get zero only and now let's do y 4 minus 6 5 minus 6 6 minus 6 Seven minus six, eight minus six. So here also, guys, you will get the same answer, like not same, but uh, you'll get some changes. No, yeah, same. Okay. So minus two, minus one, zero, one. So how I did this is, see, first I have mult divided here. The all number I have total it up. Okay. So fifteen. See. One, two, three, four, five. Total fifteen. So fifteen and five. The numbers. The here the numbers are five. So five. Fifteen divided by five. I will get three. So here what I will do? This three I have get answer no. So all I will write this number here again and three, three, three because I have got here three and I will subtract it. So I will get these answers. And here also I will get same I have done for x and y. Now here x y. मतलब इन सेंस लाइक टू इंटू टू 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 जा फोर एंड वन वन जा वन जीरो 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 टू वन 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 टू वन वन जा फोर नाउ हेयर वॉट हैपन इज आई हैव टू टेक अ स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ दिस स्क्वायर रूट इन सेंस लाइक सी टू इंटू टू uh for example guys uh, many students wait just second like here what happened is see you have to find out the square root so 2 into 2 4 for cube also 2 into 2 into 2 8 like many students doesn't know it so i'm practically showing of course because many students like they are Not able to know it. Why same? Because two, two into two, four, two into two, four, one, one. Here, what happen is when you do square root 
of this c x square then the minus sign does not carry down okay it doesn't carries so here you will get all answer as 10 10 10 okay it is very easy some you should try in your home also okay now guys what we have done we have we have thought to take this formula so we are taking down this formula as third step first step second step third step third step we have r is equal to sigma x y divided by square root sigma x square into sigma y square is equal to so guys here you can do as vertically also and like straight line also your wish so here what happened is sigma x y sigma x y x y you have 10 so we'll take down 10 divided by x square y square see x square y square so square root 10 into 10 done now again is equal to so 10 into 10 we will get 100 so 100 square root, root will be carried down and 10 so guys again what happened here is some few students does not know how to do this root so 100 square root aki see 100 then directly square root you will get 10 so cancel that uh, now next you will go to second step 10 by 10 directly because here you will cancel the square root so 10 by 10 is equal to 1 so here what you will write means that for perfect correlation perfect means because you have get plus in your answer 10 by 10 1 only and here see guys r is equal to plus 1 then you have to write perfect positive correlation so therefore perfect positive correlation between variables okay fine 